Welcome back to another video, y'all. This is your boy, The Gaming Beast. I'm doing a reaction video to my buddy Morris O1's second to latest video. Because his latest video is Mario, and I watched part of it. And he, I asked him if I could do a reaction to it, because this is something I definitely want to talk about. He Now, he has given me full range view to use his video with no problem. So, hope y'all enjoyed the video, and let's get into understanding this. This is a damn shame, and honestly disheartening. So guys, basically, we're going to be talking about a topic, uh, another one of you know, these short topics where I share my thoughts and opinions on everything. H&M commercial, uh, because, uh, it, because it was getting a lot of hate for it, and I wanted to see why. So, there was, um, it was... Okay, I'm going to start off this with saying, first of all, what hate could you potentially give this little girl? Her, nothing on her that will cause blood. Where is this to hate on here? What is there to hate on this? That's my first question. What is there to hate on this? She looks, she's smiling. She's wearing a very nice outfit, it looks like. Her hair is fine. What's the problem? Okay, mind the little she has to. She's taking a police mugshot from the side on this picture. She looks perfectly fine. The photo shoot, and it was of a little black girl. And all you just see um, is people just hating. It wasn't the white people. It's the black people. Forrest, I'm gonna need you to recheck this statement. It's not even on H and M, but her mama let her walk out the. Way. I'm gonna say again. Say off the weed. What do you... Okay, I need some form of explanation into my community of people. I seriously need one. Because I'm going to say again, her hair looks perfectly fine. Heck, I've seen my sister walk out this house who is my age. I've seen her walk out this house with worse hair than this. This hair is fine. What the... Okay, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean to laugh. But, oh my gosh. But, I mean, it's not even funny. It's It's really messed up because... Like, when I say this, when I say my generation is fucked, I mean my generation is fucked. Where did we get this BS from? Like, who did we pay? Who paid off who? Basically, went into their wallet, went in and said, take this credit card, spend all this money to BS us. What the f is going on here? I swear to God, people uh, are dumb. And then you just have like all these cons around. Oh, don't, don't blame her for this. Blame her parents. I'm just like, yo, what the fuck is this? And, but what people really lacked of it when they looked at it was the context. And they're lacking the context. And I will always say this. I will, I will go to the grave on this shit. Context in my eyes is everything. You can't take, you, okay, here's the thing. If you take everything for face value that it is, you're going to get bad assumptions, okay? That's why I always preach to people context. One of the simplest forms why I think context put up the better teams. Again, context is everything in whatever sense you're looking at Text because it pays for everything. This, you know, photo shoot or whatever. And basically, when they're lacking the context and expressing it, they're basically just snitching on themselves and expressing like, like it's. Takashi Six Nine has entered the chat. He is snitching on any and everyone coming on into the chat. Because once you hear Please. people talk, you'd be like, oh yeah. You're a fucking idiot. Like, you're just a clown. And that's literally, they're just, like, clowning themselves around, basically. And, and again, like, th this was her own, like, her own race. And that's even one thing that you see these days is that, you know, um, and even my mom tells me this and she's black. And it's true. Looking at today, black people are the one race that is always, like, turning on each other. It's always. The black community is the one community I will say. It's survival of the fittest. Well, not anything, but majority of things a black person gets is meant for only them and their closest friend, family. Heck, maybe even some of their closest friends if their friends are lucky enough. That's how it is. Again, you'll get Hispanics. They'll all sleep under one roof and combine all the and combine all their money to make sure they can all pay the bills. White people will come up and make sure everyone's dealing okay so that way no one feels left out. You got Asians over here doing who knows what to make sure that they survive. And you got black community over here who will clown each other over the simplest of things. Some of the things that don't even matter will clown them for it. And I'm like, why? What's the point of clowning each other? Don't you see all these other people actually trying to make peace with each other? Yet you out here saying, hey, you would not. What the? 
what is this? And then you roast like me they're to the never country. sticking together. But they're always want to say stuff like, oh, you need to be the black, beautiful queen that you are. And never let people hate you for this. But then you're going to turn That's what we call hypocrites. Turn around and you're going to pull this shit. And it's funny because you always have those that always want to talk about white supremacists, white nationalists, and, you know, like racist shit. But they want to turn around and be the ones to do it. Like, it's okay if, like, you, you can, like, express, like, you know, your hate to racists and everything. Like, I do. But I'm not going to turn around. And I'm just, I'm not going to, like... And especially, like, in another thing, like, this is a little girl. And let's like, Again, guns don't need to be taken. Don't take our guns. But then the hypocrisy is you're siding off on a fact of, like, a bill of saying you're going to take everyone's guns. That's hypocrisy. Again, the hypocrisy with this is we hate white nationalists. White people suck. But then you go behind you go behind the back of saying that, and you literally act super racist to any other race. I want to blow up the one fact that black people can't be racist. Yes, yes, as hell can. You can be just as racist as a white person, a Hispanic person, or an Asian person. Anyone can be racist. Racist is technically of the definition of you are discriminatory of someone based on their race. Who's excited for a photo shoot? Who's like so excited? You know, it's probably like home after school, and you know, she's getting ready. She showed all her little friends, and then you got these mean ass people on the internet hmm. that are basically, hmm. you know, just sending mean stuff to her. That's gonna make a huge impact on her in the future, and it's definitely gonna make it more. Imp and people wonder why I don't give a crap what people say because uh, one thing I've always learned from the internet is trolls are everywhere. Trolls don't give a mother fluffing piece of crap about your feelings. Cause again, internet and trolls. Um, and then, but it's going to be, it's actually going to be the white, you know, supremacists, white nationalists, you know, racist, you know, like anything else, like any other race being racist to her, it's going to have a more impact that her own race wasn't behind her. And we're clowning her and making fun of her over some dumb shit, over some shit that never should have happened. And the thing about this is that, and the, in the other photo shoot ad, um, there were other girls and honestly... Okay, I'm going to first off and say, looking at some of these little girls' hair, I can side with what they say. Because I'm going to need to ask you, why your hair look like that? Dang, was there, like, I I know they weren't outside. I know they are in a building. Typically, they have fans balling. But what is going on with the chick on the right's hair? What's going on with her hair right there? What is this? And that's, that's Torian right there. That's Torian in girl form. She looks mixed as heck. Yeah. But again, hair looks fine. It, it's a little weird because of the fact that I'm pretty sure the wind was blowing at the time. Like, they had the fans going. Like, how hard they have the wind going here? Like, did they have them on full blast? Because I don't understand why her hair looks better. Like, it ain't been combed, no brush in a week right there. And then... Or other girl. Her hair looks fine, okay? But what is this ponytail? What is this po Like... <sighs> So you know how you have people in your schools, because in my school, we do have chicks that be putting their hairs up. As most of you do. I need to know, why is there one random piece right, right up there? Are you trying to catch, like, an internet signal or something that pulls all around wherever you're at? You don't need to make yourself into a miniature internet stand. Please, no. Again, other than that one weird thing, the hair looks fine. I don't know why people are bitching about the shit. Although, I will say it looks like they're trying to do something off of Indian style here, because... Her skin tone and that hairstyle remind me of some Indian. Your parents gave you the worst hairstyle out of everyone. The worst one. Like, this, I don't know what to say. I-R-I-P. Her hair looked like they literally gave her a little sh right on top of it. Someone literally sh right there on the top spot. And I know this is a video talking about these people. Again, I don't mean any ill intent by this. I'm not doing any, I'm not trying to seem mean. I am mostly roasting these people because... I gotta roast these hairstyles real quick, because I don't know why you let your child take a photo shoot with your hair looking like this. I ain't never seen you act like this. Back to the And it, remember when I mentioned earlier with context? Here's another thing that they, that they lack in context with. I remember when rappers used to have the light-skinned girls, uh, you know, and it's the same reaction because they lack the context. Now, I'm not saying that's right, but if you're going to go against something, you need to have... Uh, a good contact. You know, you need to have good contacts with you. Three points of argument. Bring facts. Bring context. And don't clown yourself. Those are always my three rules that come into argument. 
no matter what, whether it be sports, politics, or whatever. Because if you ain't coming, if you want to argue, you better bring in all the smoke with you. And when I say facts, I mean you better bring context with the facts, facts that support your arguments, and facts that destroy your opponent's argument. You gotta bring all the evidence to show it for, with the facts and context, and then... I would argue that sometimes it's not your enemy that hurts you the most, but it's the people closest to you. You know. Again, I'm tweeting at the beginning of the video, friendly fire motherfuckers. I played enough first person shooters. They happen. But man, friendly fire be a bitch sometimes. Your race, your family member, your best friend, because then you're gonna be like, like, I know you for so long. Why would you do that to me? Like that kind of shit. And like I said earlier, this. Because at the end of the day, we're humans. We're shits to each other. It's been since the dawn of time. It's really disheartening. Like, it really hurt me that there is nothing wrong with this little black girl. Um, and she's just getting made fun of on the internet. Uh, and it's gonna make a huge impact on her life, ex especially because it was from her own race. And, uh, it's, it's pretty fucked up. Like, honestly, it really is. And I wish her the best. I really do. But, you know, it's also kind of, you know, you could say a good lesson because if, she, if this is a path that she wants to take, you know, there's gonna be stuff that's promoted, stuff that's not. Stuff that's going to be shown, stuff that's not going to be shown, stuff that's going to be, like, you know, pushed in your face, stuff that's not. And once you have a good enough willpower, like, you know, and to be clear that you know, like, who you are, like, in here, like, you know who, you know, who you are yourself, then it's easy to fault, you know, prey with its standards, especially if it's not by you. So, those are my... He is right. My whole thoughts in this situation is, my, I'm going to say my three, four points. First off... Nice job on this video. I will say, very smart and very well put. I agree with one hundred percent on this situation. Second thing, any person that was clowning the little girls on Twitter or Instagram or whatever you were, if you were one of these people clowning and you happen to come across this random video sometime, because I know if I, YouTube don't be recommending my crap at all, but I digress. You a clown, and Carmen's a bitch. Okay. Third point. To all the little girls. I hope the photo shoot went well. I hope your parents were able to, you know, talk to you about these internet trolls or these people cra crapping on you and stuff. Hope you grow up and hope you understand that if modeling is something that you want to do, understand anything that involves the internet will have trolls. People are going to screw you over. Just make sure you put the light out that, pe that you want people to understand you for and see you. My fourth point, H&M. Nice job on rebounding. You definitely rebounded after the last incident that I know you've had. Oh, but don't worry. Don't worry, H&M. You're going to be back in the spotlight at some point. And expect the roasting to come for that. Thoughts on this whole situation? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, and with all that said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. With all said, like the video, comment what you thought, and I will leave the link to the original video, this video, in the description. If you're new... Subscribe, make sure to subscribe. When you subscribe, oh, I can't speak today. When you time, I drop a fire video. With all that said, hope y'all enjoyed and peace.